Hello everyone, today I have a Teddy B's RTS haul to share with you. Um, this was from the RTS after the last pre-order shipped out. I've had this for a little while, um, maybe about a week now. Um, it's Friday, I think it might have come like last Saturday, but um, I wanted to wait until my nose was kind of cleared up. Um, so I could smell them um, accurately, I guess. So yeah, I did go through and smell these when they got here, but I really couldn't um, smell them. So I'm gonna smell them now with you. Um, I do have a sample. I don't think I got like a business card or anything like that, but I got a sample. And I'm happy I got this one because I actually was going to order this one in a souffle. And then I ended up taking it off my list um, because I had seen a few people talk about it. Well, let me tell you what it is. It's snow cones by the sea. It's watermelon, black cherry, juicy apples, and salty sea air. <clears throat> Sorry. So I had seen like three or four people talk about this one and I feel like they all mentioned that they mostly got the apple um, and salty sierra, which um, still sounds good to me, but I really wanted those, like the watermelon and the black cherry to come through. I don't know, it just sounded really good to me, but then people were saying that they mostly got apple, so I took it off my list, but this smells really good. <laughs> Um, it would have kind of been a risky scent for me anyway, because I don't do a lot of watermelon. I don't do a lot of cherry, but this smells so good. I get apple, but I also get cherry and just a little bit of watermelon and the salty sierra and the salty sierra isn't overpowering everything. Yeah, this is really nice. I kind of regret not grabbing a souffle. I mean, we'll see. I'll melt this in my tea light warmer one day. Um, and then I'll know, you know, for the next time it's offered if I need to pick it up or not. I don't know why this is so bright. Um, I don't know. Hopefully it's okay. But anyway, yeah, that smells really good. Um, okay, so I'll start with the, I didn't get a ton. I, my list was much longer. I super condensed because the Teddy Bees RTS sales are crazy. Um, things just fly out of your cart. Um, every time I've done an RTS from Teddy Bees, I like half my cart is gone by the time I'm done adding everything. Um, and I know a lot of people will go in and do like separate orders. Like their first order will be the things that they like for sure want and need to have. And then they'll go back in and do another order. I just try to get everything done in one order. Um, so I decided to condense my list because there were things that I definitely wanted and I didn't want to lose out on them while I was like adding some things that I just wanted to try. I don't know, hopefully that makes sense. But let me show you the things that I repurchased um, that I had ordered in souffles in the pre-order and then I repurchased in the tubs. I am really liking these tubs. Um, well, here, I grabbed a tub of the Grand Canaria scent. Um, I love this, it's, I can't read it. Beach Treats, which is her beach nights, and then peach nectar, jasmine, violets, notes of fresh citrus, and soft woods. I'm assuming that those other notes, aside from the beach nights, are possibly, that's possibly one oil, um, but I'm not sure what it is. But I melted this in my bedroom from the souffle, and it was amazing. I think this is well, I know this is one of my favorite beach night scents from her. I love her beach nights. Yeah, this is so good. Um, the 
this camera is killing me today. <laughs> um, okay, hopefully that's okay. I think someone had asked, was it Crawford? I think somebody had asked if this um, is Love Spell with Beach Nights because some of the notes are similar. Smelling it now, I don't think it is. I don't think it is unless her love spell is like different from other ones I'm not like the biggest love spell fan like I like it but it's not something that I'm like I need to have all the time I don't know this is just really pretty and I can't even really explain it it's just beach nights and then this beautiful like perfumey peach I love this. I would love to have this in like a body spray or perfume. Um, I cannot pop this out. There we go. Yeah, I really like these tubs. I do kind of wish um, they had a lid with them because then I could just store them in the tubs instead of in the tubs in the bag. Um, but I do really like these. I just threw it across the room. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get it but I like um, the size of these and then I've seen a lot of people mentioning how you can use these little um, marks from the tub to cut your wax evenly which I also love and Teddy Bees um, I typically don't need to microwave so this is like super easy to cut Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, I spent like five minutes on this one scent. I had to grab the tub. Okay. Yeah, this is beautiful. Um, I'm not like super big into perfumey scents, but if they're, I don't know, if I like them, I really like them. And it just is so nice with the beach nights. once again the animals are being weird like they could be in any other room but they have to investigate the living room while I'm recording um okay the next tub I picked up is fresh summer woods I had this in a souffle from the pre-order um I did almost grab a loaf of each of these or I planned to grab a loaf of each of these but I melted these in my bedroom and I did three pieces in my Scentsy Accord from the souffle. Um, and it was way too much. I only need one piece of each of these in my bedroom. That's why I decided to cut it down to the tubs because these are super strong. Um, so like one piece will go a long way. Anyway, Fresh Summer Woods is Cottonwood, Driftwood, Orange Blossom, Vanilla with Crisp, Airy Undertones. And I love this. <laughs> it is so good. It is definitely laundry. Um, like, don't let the Fresh Summer Woods name <laughs> throw you off. It is definitely laundry. There's what it looks like. Um, the glitter is so pretty, but yeah, this, when it was melting from the souffle, it smelled like the outdoor fresh bounce dryer sheets with like a tiny hint of like a downy liquid fabric softener. And I freaking love it. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, it just, it's kind of a nostalgic scent for me. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> I love, love, love this one. And I can't get it back in the bag. This bag, um, I don't know if she ran out of the other ones, but it's like a bigger bag that she folded over. Um, so it's just a little bit different, but I'm having trouble getting this back in here. What in the world? Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, this is really nice. If you like, um, like kind of those dry laundry 
lens. I think you would really like that one. It's so strong. I love it. Okay. On to the scents that I think these are all new to me. Yeah. I picked up some scents that I wanted to try in souffles. Um, some of these, I don't think all of them, but some of them were added to the RTS and they weren't offered in the pre-order. So she poured them in between like the pre-order shipping out and the RTS. Um, so, well this one, I'll start with this one because this is one that has been around um, that I've been wanting to try for a while. It's the Hamptons. Watermelon lemonade type, salty sea air and crisp linen. I've seen Jessica D talk about this one so many times. I've seen a lot of people mention how good this one is. So I wanted to give it a try. Again, I'm not like the biggest watermelon or watermelon lemonade fan, but I have been kind of coming around to it in blends. So yeah, this is nice. I do get a lot of the watermelon lemonade. Mm, yeah, this is really nice. I really like that linen note in there with the Salty Sierra. It's just really fresh and kind of like juicy, fresh. Very like summery for me. Ugh, that's good. Let me show you the souffle. It's a pretty blue with like that fine glitter. I'm sorry guys, I don't know where my camera is like focusing today. But yeah, really pretty. Let me see if I can pop it out. There might be something on the bottom. No. Ugh, it smells really good, but it's a really pretty like baby blue. Yeah, so this one I'm excited to get into a warmer and see how it is. But I'm definitely gonna hold off for a like warmer day. Today is super rainy, overcast, dreary, which those are my favorite days, but I'm gonna wait to melt that one for a more summery day. Um, okay, I don't know. All right, I think this one was in the pre-order. When was this poured? Yeah, this one was in the pre-order. Um, I love you to the moon and back. I don't know why I didn't pick this up originally in the pre-order. The notes are sweet and fresh lavender green apple, roses, jasmine, oak moss, musk, and vanilla. So I think the green apple maybe um, stood out to me. I don't, I don't know. I have a love-hate relationship with green apple. So sometimes I see that in a scent and I'm just like, mm, I'm not gonna grab it, but this smells so good. I probably should have gotten a tub of this one That lavender is lovely. So, I don't know, I feel like I've smelled something in here before. Like, I don't know if the, like, rose, jasmine, musk situation is like one scent oil. Because I do feel like I've smelled this before. Let me pop it out. Um, well, I'll show you first. It's a really pretty one again. It's a pretty purple with different kinds of glitter on top. And, oh, and this one, how fun. It does have some on the bottom too. I love that. Yeah, I don't know. Like it almost reminds me of Like her sundresses and lemonade scent kind of has this laundry note to it, to me anyway. And I, I don't know, I feel like there's a similarity here, but then it has that lavender and obviously not the lemonade. Um, mm, I really like this one. Yeah, really like that. Like I said, that's one that I probably should have grabbed a tub of. I love the lavender in there. And I don't know that I've had um, 
like a ton of lavender from Teddy Bees and I people rave about her lavender and I love lavender so I don't know why <laughs> I don't have a lot um, but I'm excited to see how that one does so I think this one was also in the pre-order this is I heart vanilla beach treats um, I've mentioned I just really love her beach nights which is uh, beach treats and then this one is creamy vanilla marshmallow vanilla milkshake boardwalk marshmallow um, boardwalk marshmallow clouds and then beach nights so this sounded really nice I like vanilla scents they aren't always super strong but like I said I love her beach nights and I just thought with these vanilla blends I would love it even more and I do this is so good oh I love this yeah I love all those additional like vanilla notes in there and I feel like this will be strong um either way because her beach treats is strong typically oh that's good and there's what that one looks like i love how the glitter is like off to one side on this one all right let me pop it out oh and there's some on the bottom i just love that i don't know if she's always done that i think that's new because I never noticed that before until this pre-order. Yeah. It's just like beach treats with boardwalk mallow clouds and then uh, like creamy vanillas. That's so good. It almost makes my mouth water. <laughs> really, really like that one. Okay, just two more. I know I'm taking forever. Um, and I think both of these were, well, I don't know. Maybe I just picked up one that was new for the RTS. I think so, um, because this one was for to March. So this must have been in the pre-order. It's vanilla and lilac, and this is fresh lilac, vanilla, pink sugar, and dewy air. Um, I've been craving like lilac and violet scents lately i don't know why but this sounded really good goodness john are you all right oh yeah that's pretty i'm definitely getting the lilac and dewy air but the lilac is it like super in your face strong Picking up the pink sugar for sure. Mm, this is pretty. Here's what this one looks like. Pretty. Pop it out. Oh, and there's some on the bottom. <laughs> That's so pretty. Mm, yeah, this is really good. It's kind of like... I don't know it's weird to say but it's kind of like a cozy lilac blend I, I guess that's the vanilla I really like this oh, that's nice for spring and summer yeah happy with that one when is this for yeah March so should be I think most of these Maybe all of these are good to go. Well, probably not this one. <laughs> this is the last one. Um, and this was new for the RTS. It is Cotton Soft Vanilla. Sounded perfect. It's Vanilla Tonka Bean Musk and Soft Laundry. And this was poured for 13. So this one will definitely need a little bit of time to sit and um, maybe more than some others because it is a vanilla blend but I really like this. I feel like I've smelled this before. Obviously not this, but like something similar to this, like in a laundry product or maybe another 
wax scent. I don't know. I really like this a lot. Um, there's what that one looks like. Blue with some blue and purple chunky glitter on top. Yeah, I'm pretty sure <laughs> this will be a repurchase. Um, just smelling it on cold. Oh, and look at that. So pretty. I love the glitter on the bottom. Yeah, I'm not even sure how to explain this one, but it's definitely a vanilla laundry blend, which I just love. I love this. Mm. You definitely get that um, musk, but it's not like offensive in any way. Really, really nice. Ugh, so good. As always, super happy with this Teddy Bee's order. Um, I've said before that, you know, keeping your orders small, I feel like also kind of helps me to really pick up things that I really like. Um, like I know, I've talked about this before, but I know it seems like I just like love or like everything that I order. Um, but that's part of the reason that I keep my orders a bit smaller because I really eliminate scents that I'm like, you know what, this has that note that I don't really like, so let me just take that off my list. Um, I mean, there's still a chance that I will like it, but I kind of try to do it that way so that I am getting scents that I really like or love. Um, I don't know if that makes any sense, but I just... I don't want you guys to think that I'm just sitting here like, oh, I love everything. I love everything so much. It's not that way. I mean, I think you know that if you watch my empties, you know I don't love everything. But on cold, when I get things in, a lot of the times I do really like everything because I really try to eliminate scents from my list that have notes that I know I don't like typically. Um, anyway, I'm rambling now. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, but yeah, super happy with this order. I already know just based on cold that some of these are going to need to be repurchases. Um, and like I said, I'm loving those tubs. So I hope she keeps offering those. Um, yeah, let me know if you guys picked up anything in this RTS, um, or if any of these scents sound interesting to you. I can't wait to get into some of these. Um, Oh, yeah, I'm so excited. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you all later. Bye.